Hi guys, it's Minnick from EarlyLearningMom.com. Today I am here to do a thrift store haul video. I've had a few trips to different thrift stores and I've kind of put together some stuff and before I put it all away, I wanted to share with you what I got. So, I'm going to start off with, we are collecting these five minute books and this one is Peep the Cat Story. We actually took this one out from the library and read a bit of it and really enjoyed it. Wes picked out this my uh, Mastering Minecraft, um, kind of a how-to book. So he grabbed that. That was his selection. And I found these two books. One is the Kids' Book of Great Canadians. And I'm hoping to take the information in here and make some Doman-inspired homemade books um, and for our social studies. We also have the Kids' Book of Canadian Immigration. And um, once again, I'm hoping that we can go through this for a social study. We got the five minute Christmas stories with a bunch of the different um, Disney characters, so hopefully in December we can really dive into that. We got the book Hank Zipzer, Zipzer My Dog's a Scaredy Cat. We got the 12 Dancing Princesses, and I wanted to get this book because um, Z really likes the um, Super Y video, um, episode about the 12 Dancing Princesses. We also got True Tales of Courageous Dogs, History in a Hurry, Middle Ages, this is Pelly. We also got a super special Cam Jansen and the Summer Camp Mystery. And Clifford Cookie Crazy. I love these little Clifford chapter books. I was super excited about this. This was brand new, hadn't been open. It's a game of Go, and I wanted to teach my big kids how to play it. And I also, it's a game I'd like to play with my husband in the evenings. Um, back when I was at uh, probably about 18 years old, um, you know, some evenings we'd go up for coffee and one of the guys had this game and we used to play it. And we'd stay up late at night playing this while we were sitting at the old Salisbury house. Um, I also was able to get this Camelot Junior and I've had this on my wish list for Z for a while. It was 225 or sorry, it says 250 but I only paid 225 for it. Thing is, it had all the pieces except it was missing the challenge guide. So I just went on the website and I just ordered one. And apparently you can order replacement pieces for these um, smart games for, um, you just pay the shipping. So I figure a little booklet, it can't be that expensive. I also got this, I ordered this on Amazon. This was not a thrift store one. It's an encyclopedia of animals and it is to go with, I got this at the thrift store, it's Sassafras's guide to zoology and we're kind of working through it this summer and I um, got this for the additional reading and I have the other book that is recommended I believe it's the Kingfisher Animal Encyclopedia that is on its way um, my girlfriend who also homeschools lent us that book she also lent us volume 2 anatomy but we're not quite there yet I grabbed this it was 50 cents it's stay safe and it is about teaching your kids about safety and um, the different symbols and what they mean and we have some hardcover safety books of different stories that I want to kind of incorporate this in. Um, I found this at the thrift store for 50 cents and I grabbed it. We are not ready for grade 3 yet but the teacher's guide just in case I want to have it for 50 cents is certainly a, a lot cheaper than what handwriting without tears would charge me. Now, I got this, and it's called Word Wizards, and it's to develop voca vocabulary and spelling skills. And they're little cards, and it'll say, um, drop one letter from the word pray to form a new word, which means to rise or open with the help of a bar. And the af answer is pry. So I thought this might be fun. We're not ready for it yet, but I think it might be fun to just have as a you know, game, even for my big kids. I don't know what the age is on this. Uh, grade 2 to 8, so my kids are grade 8 and 9. So that might even be fun just to play with them, and if Z overhears what we're talking about, um, he can pick up on some of it himself. I also got this spelling links words to meeting level 6, and I grabbed this more for the vocabulary list, so we can, um, where is it? There it is. So 
they have a weekly like vocabulary list. So when I'm creating our um, word lists for Domen International, there are, um, you know, there's the word and there's also sentences using the word and little stories and stuff like that that I can um, hopefully turn into homemade books. I also found this. It was only 25 cents. It's my first encyclopedia. And once again, just some great information for homemade books or just to flip through, like, you know, if we're reading about a topic and we want to dive in a little deeper. So a lot of these I, things I grabbed in intentions of, of, with intentions of using for homemade books. So creating these homemade books can be difficult sometimes when you've run out of ideas and having writer's block when you need books to present to your child is just not it's not a great situation to be in. So this is high interest reading, great inventions. So I thought if I took the actual stories and I would just fill in the letters myself and um, put them in, like it has a vocabulary list that we can do and then it has a story already written about the vocabulary list. Um, that would be helpful. Once again, a grade three reading comprehension book. So once again, there's some you know reading we can do and then I can do some choice questions with the choice board. Um, so just turning this material into what we need it to be. Um, there's also exploring my community, my school and local community grade one. I thought this looked like a really fun kind of workbook if we need some fillers and um, it, we could use it for social studies. We also got Little Z loves um, nursery rhymes. He still loves them. Um, so this is just some different poems and nursery rhymes. And um, I can just photocopy them or cut them out as is and um, use them. And I just grabbed this, the Backyard Agains, and it's the essential guide because he loves the Backyard Agains. This was just for fun. It wasn't no rhyme or reason involved. And I also grabbed this, um, How to Reach and Teach Children with ADD and ADHD. I don't know what it's like. It's a pretty thick book. Um, but I just thought, you know what, maybe I would read through it and see um, what I thought. And I mean, it was 25 cents, so if it lands up being a pile of garbage, I can just donate it. Um, we also got Soccer Cats. Hat trick. We got um, the secret of Drune, the moon dragon, and the race to Dublish. Dublish. The animal arcs, kitten in the cold. We got um, stepping stone stories, dragons. Time warp trio, knights of the kitchen table. The Wana Banana Mystery, Wana Camp Banana Mystery, and this is the Wild Rattle in the Woods. The Unicorn Secret, Moon Silver. Um, All Star Fever. All About Stacy. The Storm, and this is the Lighthouse Family, ready for chapter books. Um, Arthur's Great Big Valentine. We borrowed this from the library this year and we really enjoyed it. So now we have our own copy for Valentine's Day. Young Cam Jansen and the Loose Lost Tooth. And Duffy's Monkey Business. And I love this series. Um, it is uh, first novels and they are Canadian. So we love supporting Canadian products. I got these um, learning to read phrase flashcards from Christian Light Education. Well, I didn't get it from Christian Light. I got it from the thrift store, and I think they were a dollar. So grab that. We got teaching beginning reading, a balanced approach. And this is just some little reader books. It may be too easy for Z. If it is, I'll just pass it on. It, I think I paid like 25 cents for it. We got Tell Me About the World. Can plants feel? How do birds fly? What is acid rain? I'm sorry, my cats are fighting. Not fighting, but playing in the playpen over here. 
and this just looked like a great book with a question and an answer and we can either read through it or I can turn it into homemade books once again. Animals Grow, this is a Pan American Science Place and once again what is questions with a little blurb. Where is it there? So I thought, you know what, just to add to science if we need some and I can change it. This is Manitoba. It's a nice, beautiful hardcover book. We live in Man the province of Manitoba. And it's just talking about, you know, the landscape that we live in. And even if we can flip through this, you know, on a, a couple pages on a Friday, it's great information. We got the book, The Gas We Pass, The Story of Farts. Of course, it's a little silly, but I mean, in reality, it's our human body. Um, we got maps, 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 maps and globes, and we also got folk and fairy tales mini books, and I can just uh, photocopy these, or just cut them out of this book, I mean, the book was 25 cents, so not overly attached to it, and that, oh, wait, I lied, there's one more bag, so I got this box of a bunch of different puzzles and I love these little sturdy boxes and like we're always looking for more puzzles and then I got a bunch of these books they are my world so this is my home in Greece we got um, baby rabbits my home in the Netherlands and these were all 25 cents so I mean I couldn't even leave them different kinds of dolphins, different kinds of owls, and I mean the writing is quite large, so it would be beneficial for um, Zakari to read these out loud or to himself, um, or we could read them together. This is snakes and they're young, barn owls, grizzly bears. And I mean, I could even, maybe not with this book, but uh, with this one, I could even put a paper over the picture and have him read and then flip the paper to show him afterwards so it's a little less distracting. Um, frogs home. Horses of I Horses in Ireland. It is late. Apparently I'm having trouble reading the titles of children's books. A festival in Spain. A wedding in Poland. It's just great, like, introducing him to different cultures. My home in Ireland. My home in Hong Kong. My home in Spain. My home in Germany. My home in France. My home in Brazil. My home in Italy. My home in Canada. My home in Japan. And I guess when I read the My Home in Canada, we'll see how if these books are quite outdated or how much is uh, still relevant. I mean, they are older books. So that's it for those books, but we also got a couple uh, chapter books. So we have Punished. We also have Archeolo Jesters. The Archeolo Jesters. I don't know. It looked interesting. We got How Planes Fly, and I love the Sunshine books because as a kid, that's what I learned to read with. And we also have Garfield and the Mysterious Mummy, and this is for my oldest. He loves Garfield and is always reading the comics. I know this chapter book's probably on the easier side for him, but I'm hoping he'll still enjoy it. So that is my thrift haul from the last um, month or two. I've been trying to like step back from going to the thrift store and try to bring more stuff to the thrift store. However, I'm always looking for good books. If you watch this channel, you know it. We are trying to raise readers and good readers have good home libraries. Um, so that's what we are trying to do in an affordable way. Like I said, 25 cents. I, I couldn't leave it. And eventually, you know what, when we're done with it, we will 
um, bundle up some, we'll sell some, we'll keep some, we'll, um, we'll give some to some family with younger children so they can love it too. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions about the books that I mentioned in this haul, be sure to um, ask me down below and I'd be happy to answer it. Thank you for watching and check out my blog at www.earlylearningmom.com. Thank you.